Among the laboratory investigations, there's um, still another thing that could be done in the laboratory that will basically help you to confirm if there's um, tuberculosis or not, okay? And this is known as the Mantox test or the tuberculine test for tuberculosis, all right? So under the Mantox test, we have beautiful images for you guys to admire. Then um, um, we'll look at how this test works. We'll look at the interpretation of results. So how the test works, we'll also be talking about what the procedures in it. So we'll look at if there's false positives, if there's false negatives. Because basically interpretation of results, we're talking about the true positives already, okay? So I think let's have it so quickly. Uh, we'll see that the Mantox test, which is also known as the tuberculine skin test, right? It's actually a diagnostic tool that is used to dictate what tuberculosis infection, all right? So it's actually good for us to know how this test works, right? So um, how it works uh, is just like talking about the procedures, all right? How to elicit this test. Injection. A small amount of tuberculin, also known as a purified protein derivative, as a PPD. Okay, so this tuberculin now will be injected into the skin, just subcutaneous. All right, and this injection is usually done in the forearm. Okay, so the swelling is what you're trying to measure after. So the size of the swelling will indicate something, all right, which we'll look at. Reaction now. The body will react to this purified protein derivatives, okay? And it will also cause a localized skin reaction, all right? Measurement. The reaction is measured just 48 hours to 72 hours after the, the test has been done, after the injection has been done, okay? And this is 48 hours is two days, 72 hours is three days, okay? So either leave it for two days or three days. Interpretation, that's basically looking at the size of the reaction, okay? Now, size of what? In duration, if there's reaction and there's hardening, and the hardening is just between five to nine millimeters, all right? So that means what? It is positive in people with weakened immune system, all right? So basically, this person has tuberculosis and has a weak immune system, so it is becoming hardened and the body is just reacting a little to it, all right? Then in duration of about 10 to 14 millimeters, we say that this one is positive in people with normal immune system. So you have tuberculosis, but normal immune system, okay? Then in duration of about what, five millimeters or more, this one can be positive in anyone, all right? So guys, that's it, that's a tuberculosis skin test. Now, let's talk about false negatives, false positives, right? Some people that might be having a positive result, okay, that they have tuberculosis, but it's false. It could be that the person was recently what, vaccinated with the Basil Calmet Guerin vaccination. Um, also, if you have been exposed to non tuberculous mycobacteria, okay, you have that um, false positive. If you have a previous tuberculosis infection history, then you might also have this. Then false, false negative can occur due to what? Immunosuppression, like what? HIV and AIDS, uh, corticosteroids, then um, recent TB infection, okay? This one might take over eight to 12 weeks for skin tests to be positive, all right? Then if you are malnourished or severe illness, your body might not what, even react to anything. That's a false negative, okay? So the tuberculin skin test is not perfect, but it remains a worldwide used and useful tool for dictating what tuberculosis infection, okay? Especially in population that are of a high risk. So you have what, so many people come into the lab that what, you don't really have time for all those other tests, right? You just give them tuberculin injection, give them tuberculin injection, come back after two days, come back after two days and all that, right? That's it about what the Mantox test, also known as the tuberculin skin test for tuberculosis. That's it.